Good morning. Today we are in, well we're only about five minutes from my house really. Um, just doing a short notice job for this couple who have been let down. Um, they've got a baby shower coming up next week and they just wanted to get the patio looking a bit nicer. Decent water pressure on here which is good. I'm going to pull this hose totally out just in case we've got any kinks in, in there. I've already arrived with half a tank anyway. Um, I've pre-mixed some hypo. Um, some hypo, some surfactant and a splash of synergy in there as well. Just to help it, it's like a foaming agent. This is the job. Nice Indian sandstone. Very green at the minute. Oh, it's quite slippy as well. A couple of black spots down here. What we'll do, I think, is uh, I've got the 40 degree fan tips on the surface cleaner today. Um, and there's three of them on this one. It's a three bar one. I'll swap these over this morning. Forty degree O three O's. So they said they were quiet. Thanks very much. So they're quite cautious about this easy joint pointing that's in there at the minute. So if it does get to the point where it starts ripping stuff out, I mean there there are some bits already coming out here so we'll see how the surface cleaner gets on and obviously we'll put some hypo down as well drainage should be fine it looks like it's all going to go down in that direction which is good let's get started i'll put you on a time lapse just put a new fuels on, fuel hose on this i've spun this fuel tank around and put a longer fuel hose so let's see if she starts This is what we're left with so far. It's cleaned up very well. Got lots of areas with black spots still left over. All the, well, most of the pointing looks intact. Not too bad. Trying to find that fine line between getting the moss out of the joints and not, not blowing the pointing out. Um, I'd say this bit's probably the worst. Still got moss here. And then lots of black spots and like shadowing dark shadowy areas. The hypo is going to clear all that, I'm quite confident. Lots of uh, bird poo down here that was really hard to get up actually. More black stain in there and then there's some leaf staining over here which I have seen in the past and it comes up quite easily with the hypo so yeah it's looking good quite pleased so far let's um, get my mask on and start putting some chemicals down
think I've sorted my X yet. What I've done is, um, well, first of all, this cap isn't fully on because it's not the right lid uh, for this little tub because uh, I pre-mixed it this time, which I don't normally do. Um, but what I've also done, I don't know if you remember in the last video, change this over. And what I'm going to do in future now is every time I use this X jet, I'm actually going to rinse this whole hose through with water just so that this doesn't go rusty. Um, also, I've taken the proportioner out of here. So I'm running it with no proportioner in. You can get little fittings that well, come with the X jet that go in there that change the dilution ratio coming from the tub. I've taken that out because I wasn't happy with the way it's performing before. Um, I've got through, this was just 10 litres. It was up to about here when I started. So I've got through, I'd say maybe eight, eight litres of mix doing that whole patio, which I don't think is bad really. Might be a bit on the uh, on the steep side, but it's doing exactly what I want it to do. There are still a few tiny black spots left. Here. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Um, but it is just strong enough to to uh, get rid of all that shadow in and the rest of the black, black spots and stuff. So it's doing exactly what I want it to do now and it's foaming up nicely. I don't know whether that's because the lack of proportioner or different tub or because I've put some synergy in there as well, but I don't know. Either way, it's working, so I'm happy with that. For those of you that are looking at getting an X jet, what I tend to do, I normally run my machine on idle anyway, so it's on the lowest rev setting. Um, and I've turned the unloader valve here. I've turned that right down. And uh, this is a Honda GX. 630 and it's got a 30 litre 30 litre per minute pump stuck to the side of it so I have to sort of turn everything down to make sure it um, you know you, you don't want to be running this at 30 litres per minute just to do a little patio like this totally unnecessary so. right I think I'm going to rinse it down now it's had long enough it's had about 15 20 minutes Okay, all done. Just rinsed everything down and we've got rid of all that shadow in which is nice. If you ever come across this, that is actually fossilised into the stone so you'll, you won't get that out. I think they're quite pretty actually, I think. It adds a bit of character. Sometimes it's much worse than that. It's like spread out over the whole stone, but I'm pleased with that. Okay, so I actually just finished that one and I've left to go and swap some of my equipment out of the van and pick up my gutter vacuum because I can't really fit everything in the van at the same time. Um, I've got another gutter job a bit further out of town this afternoon. But then the uh, the neighbour from that last job has just rang me and said he was supposed to catch me before I left, but he missed me. And he wants me to go and quote the front and the back, so we're going to go and do that now. So I'll see you there. Oh, this will come up nice, yeah. Do you have a, a tap? You have. Do you, do you mind if I just test the pressure on that? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, thank you. Perfect, thank you. Yeah, ideal, thank you. And then down the side there as well. Yeah, things are going well. I've had a slightly busier January than I expected, to be honest. Yeah.